Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll learn about left and right continuity, followed by continuity at endpoints and finally continuity on interval. If you have not subscribed to our channel, then subscribe now, so that you can get notification of upcoming videos. Let's start with left and right continuity. As we saw in the previous video, there was a condition for the function's continuity at a point and the function's value must be equal to the function's limit. Similarly, for a function to be left continuous at any point A, both its left limit and its value must be the same at this point. And for any function to be right continuous at any point A, both its right limit and its value must be the same at that point. Consider the following example, the heavy side function. Let's put this into practice with this example. You can see a graph of it. At x equals 0, the value of this function is 1. This function's right limit is also 1. As a result, we can conclude that this function is right continuous. However, we can see that its left limit is 0 at x equals 0. And, the value of this function is 1. As a result, the value of the function and the left limit of the function are clearly different. It means that at x equals 0, it is not left continuous. I think you must have understood by now. Let me explain a theorem that is related to this. Function f is continuous at a point A, if and only if it is both right continuous and left continuous at point A. If you have watched all the previous videos in the calculus series, you will have no trouble understanding this theorem. How can we check continuity at any endpoint? As you can see, there are right and left endpoints. First, we examine the continuity at the right endpoint x equals 2. What is the value of the function at x equals 2? 0, right? But what if we talk about the right endpoint's limit? Only the left limit can be found instead of the one-sided limit on the right endpoint. At c equals 2, the left limit is 0. We would say that this function is left continuous at x equals 2 because we could only find the left limit here. The value of the function at x equals minus 2 is 0. And at this point we can only find the right limit. And the right limit is 0 at this point. So it is right continuous at x equals minus 2. In other words, if we need to check continuity at the endpoints as well, we will use the concept of left and right continuities. Finally, we will discuss continuity on an interval. If a function f is continuous on the interval, it is continuous at every point on the interval. We have the function, the square root of x. First, we begin with x equals 0, which is the left endpoint. The value of the function is 0 at x equals 0. And the right limit is 0. This function is thus right continuous on the left endpoint. Following that, we check for continuity at any point along the curve. Let's take a look at x equals 16. And its limit is 4. The function's value at this point is 4 indicating that it is continuous at x equals 16. Similarly, if we consider any point x equals c, where c can be any number greater than 0, then, at this point, the value of the function f of c and the limit will be equal. This means that it will be continuous at each point c. We can check the continuity of an interval in this manner. Wait, there's one more important thing. We have done everything up to this point, but students will be doubtful of this type of example. At first glance, function 1 upon x appears to be wrong, because its graph is broken at x equals 0. However, the number 0 is not in the domain of g, so talking about g being discontinuous there makes no sense. A function can be continuous or discontinuous only at a single point in its domain. As a result, this function is a continuous function. That's all I've got for today. Please like and share this video. Thank you very much.